All right. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be using two softwares or other DAWs, that's digital audio workstations, in tandem with the Chords plugin. They are FL Studio and Reaper. And mostly I'll be using my old QWERTY desktop keyboard and not a MIDI controller. So let's start with FL Studio. Uh, my project tempo for now is 100 ppm, just a reference. Number one, I'll first be loading a random VST instrument, in this case a piano VST called Jazz Baby. Number two, I shall disable the fruity limiter because it gives a little too loud a sound. The fruity limiter is on the master channel, so I've disabled it. And number three, I shall be loading the chords plugin as an instrument channel and not an effects channel. Now here's the interface of the chords plugin. As you can see, there are 12 notes here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. A few notes are missing. I can simply add them by right clicking and assigning them the respective missing notes. In this case, this will be C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. So these are 12 notes here, an octave in a sense, and these notes have to be assigned or designated a particular chord. Next is the scale chord template. This is where all the fun begins, where all the presets are. After having seen uh, a few videos of chords on YouTube, um, quite a few users say they do not know how to operate this. Uh, but in layman terms, there are three simple steps to work around this. One is to click the option here under scale chord template. And as you can see, major, minor, harmonic minor, melodic minor, major pentatonic, minor pentatonic, variations, harmonized. So effectively, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. There are 21 effective presets to use right off the bat. Scale refers to only the keys which would come in play here. So none of these would be chords and only these are the presets all right now i'm just gonna click major chord and click apply here as you can see these respective keys have been designated a certain chord the final step is basically called routing where we route the signal from this chords plugin onto the jazz baby this also means that we play midi notes from the chords as a plugin and we use chords as the instrument and not the instrument literally while playing the notes. So the last step in this three step process is the syncing of the routing channels. That is output channel of chords should be equal to the input channel of the instrument. In this case, Jazz Baby. We simply do that by clicking the gears icon, changing the output signal. I'm putting it by random a number three. And let's go to Jazz Baby click the gears icon and put the input signal as number three so therefore effectively the output signal port is three here and the input signal port is three here so now we're almost done just before that I'm gonna play a few notes with jazz baby as an independent instrument check how it sounds That's Jazz Baby without the chords. And now I'm using chords as an instrument with the respective keys mapped to respective chords. And now hear how it sounds. It's quite cool. You know, as you can see, chords are already mapped. Let's just take another chord progression. In this case, I'll go for minor as opposed to major and click apply and let's see how this sounds mm -hmm. 
Now, the two things that I play, that's the major and minor scale, or the major and minor chord combinations, I played with one key at a time. Uh, chords doesn't only allow you to play one key at a time, you are able to play multiple keys, that is multiple chords at once. So I'm just going to go back to the major one and press apply and now play multiple keys at once. That was multiple keys at once. And now I'll go to minor and play multiple keys at once. So as you can see, as well as, as you can hear, these are just two of the 21 presets readily available inside chords. I'll just go again and show you. These are the chord presets available. And not scale. These do not refer to chords. All right. And after clicking each particular preset, you have to click apply. And remember about the routing channel. So now you've seen just how chords operates, the basic use and usage. Now let's go about making a preset on our own from scratch so that we can save it for FL Studio as well as use the same preset on Reaper software. For that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and click scale only and chromatic and click apply. What happens here is all my keys are back but with no chord designated. I will have to designate the chords individually. So for this demo purpose, I'm just going to use four keys that it's C, D sharp, G sharp, and G. I'm just going to play these keys, C, then D sharp, and then G sharp, and then G. So these are four keys. And they have not been assigned or mapped any chords. They have to be designated chords and it's just not these four keys. You can map up to 12 different chords for 12 different keys here. So there are thousands of permutations and combinations you can do on this. I've just taken four keys as I said. And I'm gonna map chords to these. All right. So for this there is a button here. This button has the number of presets available to map each single key a respective chord. So before clicking a little bit of suspense as to how many presets you think could be there. Hey, what? What? what's this? So as you can see, I've counted there are roughly 50 different chord options for one note at a time. For the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to take one chord at a time. <laughs> that is C minor for example. So C minor is mapped. Now I'm going to map a chord to D sharp. I'm just going to put it major. Then I'll take G sharp. For a random sake, I'll put it as major third. And G, I'll just put it as major. So I have four keys mapped with chords. Let me hear how it sounds just as piano again. Now with chords and the keys being mapped, let's check out how it sounds.
that is just the gist of what you can do with regard to mapping each key with respective chord and the sky is the limit as I said with 50 odd presets here. Now let's go ahead and save it. An important thing to note before saving the preset is that if you save a preset in the current state it manages to maintain the output port channel. Now that at some point could be an issue so it's best to keep it as a neutral preset in terms of its routing channel. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to first go ahead and get back its output port to nothing and then I'm going to go and save the preset for FL Studio by clicking the down arrow here save preset as I'm just going to click demo chords preset 401 and click save all right i'm going to exit this and reload it and let's see if it works click chords all right click here and presets and let's just check for demo presets demo chords preset 01 so as you can see now the four chords are still there in that but the routing option has to still be updated back to three and now let's see this so this preset is safely set for FL studio now again I'll put this back to nothing and we'll save this preset in such a way that it can open up on Reaper for that we have to click the gears icon go to presets option here and then click save preset this will effectively save it as an fxp or fxb file which you can later import on reaper so i'm just going to go ahead to desktop and just save it as demo chords preset 001 underscore reaper and let's just save this for now all right it's saved i will be exiting fl studio and we'll open this on reaper so here we are on reaper i hope you guys are well versed with the interface of reaper it's kind of an easy software it reminds me a bit about this old software called sony asset pro which is basically loop or audio recording based daw I hope you guys are well versed with it and have configured your Reaper settings in terms of VST search folders, audio and MIDI settings, etc. I'm going to go ahead and load the same VST instrument as well as the Chords plugin and try to see if it works on Reaper. First step is right click on this area, insert virtual instrument track. I'm going to go ahead and search for Jazz Baby. There you go. Let me verify that it sounds perfectly fine. I'm going to do that by enabling the virtual MIDI keyboard by clicking Alt and B. It's appeared here. Let me just test it out. Okay, so it works fine. Next, we're going to add the chords plugin by clicking Add here and search for chords. Okay, so an important thing to note here in terms of Reaper is in order to make the chords plugin work and effectively generate chord sounds, it has to be the first channel on top because signal how it passes in Reaper is from top to bottom. So either you can drag the chords to the top or drag the Jazz Baby down. So I'm just going to click Jazz Baby and drag it down and now chords is here. Just to check out the setup and see the effectivity of chords, whether it's working, I'm just going to go ahead and load one of those presets that's major or minor. I'll just load minor here and click apply. So with chords here, enable your virtual MIDI keyboard by Alt B. It's here and now let's just check. I'm feeling a little bit of clipping, so I'm just going to lower the volume down here a bit. But it works. So chords mm -hmm. works and so does the Jazz Baby Piano. Now how to go ahead and import that preset? Simple. There's a plus button here. Just click the plus button. Import VST patch bank file. 
and go to desktop. I've saved mine on desktop for this tutorial. Demo chords preset 001 underscore reaper. Double click. There you go. One, two, three, four. Those chords are mapped. Let's just test the sound. Okay, so we've got the preset perfectly working here as well. Now let's just go ahead and save it. We need to go back to the plus sign here. Click save preset and type demo preset 001 underscore reaper and save it. So now it's saved. Next time how to access your preset is, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this and show it again. Click the option here, which is written default, and you will find your demo preset 01 Reaper. Click that, and make sure chords is above, while the instrument is below. And let's just test it out one last time. this you will never get this la, 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 la. so it works it's perfectly fine you have a preset a custom made preset both on FL studio as well as Reaper and we've known now how many presets are there to use as default in the chords plugin I'm gonna go ahead and move back to FL studio and in the next tutorial we'll discuss the different flexibility aspects of chords plugin till then cheers psycho out